Hi guys, Matt here from the Traveling Together Journal. Today we're going to talk about electrical systems for overland vehicles. And I'm going to try to answer a question I've been getting lately. Should I use a solar generator in my overland vehicle, or should I go with a DIY system? To be clear, when I say solar generator, I'm talking about a unit like this one. It's essentially a battery, a charge controller, an inverter, and various outlets, all built into one unit. And they come in various sizes and configurations. The alternative, what I'm going to refer to as the DIY system, would be to purchase your own battery, charge controller, and whatever outlets and inverters you may want, and then wire them together to create your own system. If you've been following this channel, you know I went with a DIY system in our rig that we took through Mexico and Central America, so I have a lot of experience going that route. I also got a chance recently to try out a solar generator. I made a video all about this Blue Eddy unit. You can check that out if you want the details. And since making that video, we also took it to Mexico with us for a month and got more of a feel for it. Now back to the question, should I use a solar generator in my overland vehicle or should I build my own DIY system? My answer, if you're doing shorter trips and your power demands really aren't that much, then I would go with the solar generator. I could totally see myself strapping this thing in a small fridge in the back of my truck and chasing a swell down the Baja Peninsula on a short trip, just relying on the vehicle alternator to keep it charged. Then, when I got home, I could pull the solar generator and the fridge out of the truck and I'd have my daily driver back. If, however, you have a designated vehicle that you're setting up for more extensive travel, then I would go with the DIY system. If you're setting up a vehicle for these purposes, you're probably going to have a more permanently mounted system with mounted solar panels, lights, a fridge, maybe a bed or fan. And if you're mounting all those components, you might as well make a couple extra connections and have an entirely custom system. You'll end up with a system that better suits your needs, and you'll probably save a little money along the way too. If you watched my video about the solar generator, you know I was pretty excited about it. And I still think it's one of your best options as far as solar generators go but I realized that it was a bit lacking in the amount of current I could draw from the DC outlets provided. Like most solar generators, it has a lot of AC power available, but it's just lacking in those high current DC outlets. This one has one 10 amp outlet and one 25 amp outlet, which is better than what you get in most solar generators, but it's still just not what you need if you're trying to hook up circuits that have multiple loads on them. I also don't really like the charging parameters for the solar input, with a maximum input of 12 amps and a minimum input of 35 volts. You have to be pretty careful about which solar panels you choose, and you pretty much have to have multiple panels wired in series. Of course, using the solar generator, one of its main advantages is that it's easily removable from the vehicle, so instead of using a DIY system permanently mounted on the roof of your vehicle, you'll probably be using a packable solar suitcase. And Bluetti, like most larger solar generator companies, they produce their own solar suitcases which meet the parameters of their solar generators. So that's pretty easy to just plug and play if you want to go that route. Since I'll have a permanently mounted system in a designated vehicle, I've decided to go with a DIY system. I'll be using a lithium iron phosphate battery it's the same battery chemistry that you would get in a high quality solar generator. It provides more power storage for less weight compared to AGM or flooded cell batteries. I got this 12 volt 200 amp hour battery from Lee Time. It's only $600 right now on the internet and it has really good reviews on Amazon. It's the only large component I've decided on so far for my system, but by building my own DIY setup, I get to consider how I collect electricity and how I use electricity in my vehicle to build the most efficient and convenient system for me. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more Q&A style videos like this from me in the future, let me know in the comment section. Until next time, thanks for watching.